Hello everybody and welcome back to the Band of Asgath Death Plus. In the previous episode, we actually did something we've been wanting for quite a while. The Lost now starts with Holy Mantle. Oh. My. God. Oh. My. God. It has finally happened and we got Snake Eyes. Rerolls bosses. When used, rerolls boss retains health percentage left. Poisons all enemies and bosses in the room. Sounds useful. Uh, we also got Geo, double the chance for Tinted Rocks. Very happy about that. So, we could actually use this as a regular old enemy, as uh, regular old item, sorry, as well, as um, a, a boss reroller. But, a boss reroller, although risky, is also very, very useful, because there's a few bosses that we will certainly want to get rid of as soon as possible. As soon as possible. I am sure of it. So, I'm very happy to have that. Definitely want to be getting rid of the duplicated dude. Even though the duplicated versions don't actually hurt us, I still want to get rid. Already found two tinted rocks. So, this item is already working its magic. Three. Oh, my God. Okay. So, this thing's amazing. This thing's kind of amazing. So, we want to take care of every possible advantage we can get here. So, let's destroy our poops. We can go and destroy some of those tinted rocks, and we probably should. Even though we won't get soul hearts, you can get chests, you can get consumables. I think it's always worth doing. And then obviously you've got the chance for small rock as well. There you go, we got that there. We don't have anything to open that with yet, but if we do end up getting anything to open it with, it's going to be nice to have. We do have a battery charge in here, so we can feel a little less bad about using our space bar item in this room here. If we should want to, we will. That's going to be super useful. Look at that, there's two tinted rocks right there. That's... There's another, there's another two! This is not double, this is like quadruple the amount of tinted rocks. This is insane. This trinket is batshit amazing. Wow. Like, any time I get this out, that, that is just like the luckiest find. That is, if you have 99 bombs or just you have a lot of bombs, this is an incredibly, incredibly powerful trinket. Now, we've already been hit by this little dude here. We shouldn't get hit by him again unless he telefrags us, which he has done in the past, so... Nah, we're good, we're good. We can't take it. D100 is fun, but at the same time, sadly, it will reroll Holy Mantle away. And we, we, we quite literally cannot have that. Uh, I'm going to take a gamble here, and I'm going to uh, open this up and see if we get anything nice. Fate's Reward, Fires Tears and Copies Your Tear Damage. Very, very nice. So only a little bit of extra damage. Honestly, Monstro is fine. We won't be rerolling Monstro. I forgot to pick up the ability to reroll anyways because I didn't pick up a battery. So that's stupid of me. But <clears throat> Monstro is absolutely fine here. In fact, if we really wanted to cheese the hell out of him, we could just sit over these rocks here. And he can't really do much about it. I mean, he can still hit us, as you can see. Um, but we don't need to do this. I'm just doing it because we are the lost and we might as well. We've just got to be careful for the uh, the big ones he throws over. And there you go. He is done. But yeah, that's, these snake eyes are going to be great for us. Uh, tentacles. Um, probably not going to be super useful. Because they mostly have a chance to spawn when you use an active item. Uh, uh, sorry, if you get hit. Uh, but they are going to also spawn sometimes when we walk into a room. So they're going to get a, a little bit of use, but not much. And they're nowhere near as powerful as they used to be. But uh, oh, to be fair, though, they used to be insane. They used to be insane. Right. No, thank you. Okay, any room that looks like problematic where we've got a lot of things chasing us down, especially flies or spiders, I'm going to be using my snake eyes to just poison everything. I love the fact that it's got two uses as well. There's not many active items in the game that are, like, multi-purpose, and I really like the fact that we're seeing one that is. Most of them are like, hey, it does this one thing, and that's it. Okay, so we can get him on active item use as well. Okay, that's good to know. So tentacles are going to be a little more useful than I first imagined. Because on active item use basically means that we can get them to spawn a boss. If we want to um, re-roll a boss. Now, we've got to remember, it does say that they will retain their health percentage. So we don't have to re-roll the boss straight away. We can do a bit of damage first. Let's go straight back to our item room first. The, we want to be getting in there and getting as much power as we can as early as we can. Ideally. Monster man well and also we've got the um We've got the ability to reroll our 
appearance. Not very good. That's two active items in a row. So we're a bit behind the curve in terms of items. At least we got Fate's Reward, which isn't exactly super powerful, but does help on these earlier floors. Um, and there you go. You can see the uh, tentacles there appearing as we walk into a room. Definitely very happy to have a bomb considering the very plausibly high amount of uh, tinted rocks we're going to be getting here. We didn't, we've not found anywhere near as many on this floor, to be honest, but still. Um, there's not much else we want to do on this floor, I don't think. Let's just go in here. Again, don't want to reroll this boss. This boss is perfectly easy. Um, especially, I don't know if it rerolls the boss into any other boss or if it just rerolls the boss into the floor specific bosses. I would imagine floor specific bosses because otherwise that would be actually quite evil. Um, but there is not much easier than, than Larry, so. We will just stick with uh, stick with our Larry dude here and and get him get him gone. There you go, he's almost dead, and he's dead. And we get crack jacks. Um, that's not going to be useful for us. Get our first deal, the devil here. Um, damage up, look down. Um, after clearing six rooms, five coins will be removed. Honestly, I think we just take all of this. Like, 99 coins right now is pretty good. And also, damage up is nice. I don't really care about the lockdown. Um, let's try and go get a key to get into our shop. Because we want to be getting as, as much advantage as we possibly can here. As much advantage as is humanly possible. And of course, we need a key to do that. Alright, let's go over here. Got to remember that room clearing is going to remove some coins. That's going to last for the entirety of the run. So that could be rather problematic. But I think for the most part, it's actually not going to affect us too badly. This room isn't too hard. It looks harder than it is. You've got a lot of space to move around there. A lot of space to move around here. And we've even got some battery charges to do a bit of extra damage going forward. Which I'm very happy about. We've got some bombs. Got ourselves tinted rock. Being able to destroy rocks by walking on them would be like a massive gap. There's four tinted rocks in this room. There's four. Like, actually, what the hell game? God damn. Please give us a key. Please give us a key. Damn you, game. We'll try and walk in here and see how this goes. Got ourselves black hearts. Um, we can't physically make any use of that. There is some tinted rocks in here, though. Okay. Nothing of use, sadly. Nothing of use. A little bit upsetting that, we, uh, that we're not going to be able to get to go to our shop this floor, but surely on the next floor we'll get to go. Keys aren't that hard to find. But so far, I'm pretty happy with this run. We've not got any amazing items or amazing stats, but all in all, it's just like a nice above average run. I'm really happy about our active more than anything, because just I, I can envision so many situations where we see a boss and we're like, eh, hell no. Okay, these guys can just die from a distance. I don't want to deal with them. Yeah, you spawn your babies, fool. Haha, -ha, your babies just walked into my lovely tentacles and killed themselves. So we should probably lose a coin after this room here. I would imagine. Still no key. Come on, game. If you'd like to give me a singular key. Ooh, a luck penny. That's going to up our luck to what it should be. So that luck down has now been negated, which is, of course, very, very nice for us. Right, keep on moving. Keep on grooving. Okay, these guys are problematic. I'm just going to see how much damage this poison does, and then go from there. Okay, good. That was that was tricky. Using that poop there to my advantage, definitely good. Okay, so we lost our first set of five coins, although we're only at 98, so I don't really know what happened there. Maybe if you pick up coins in excess of 99. Oh, there's a first key. Yeah, maybe if you pick up coins in excess of 99, it can still take them away. That, may, that might be what happened there. <clears throat> we'll never know. That's very, very nice. Also, the five bombs. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I should have just blown up. There you go. There's what we wanted. Small rock. Very, very nice. But yes, that is... Pyromaniac is going to be really, really good. Being immune to explosions is just nice in general. Um, and the five bombs are going to be really good for us, considering the insane amount of tinted rocks we're going to be finding. 
which even though they don't give us much HP, they are still very, very useful. The fact that they can spawn with the, uh, the, the black curse thing on them is very, very nice. Right. Let's take him out. Let's have a penny. And this one, we've got two more tinted rocks. So these, this could spawn a bomb fly, but I'm not going to count on that. What is this beast? Okay, nice. Lovely. And we got ourselves keys here so we can get into our shop. Um, we definitely want to go for Black Candle. Care some unit is really, really nice here. Um, let's keep re-rolling. Chaos? I'm not even sure. Is Chaos worth it? Is Chaos worth it? Tears up for every coin you have. Coins now cost for you. Yeah, let's go for that. Um... I don't know if Chaos is worth it, because we kind of want Deal with the Devils to be Deal with the Devils. I'd rather not mess with that. Because they're free. Spider Mod's nice. That's pretty good. So this has just been absolutely brilliant for us here. That's really nice. Probably only going to get one more reroll here. Yeah, I thought so. Um, let's buy a key. Let's buy a bomb. Honestly, I don't want King Baby. That'll be fine for us. And there you go. That has given us a market improvement. Of course, we did just get rid of a lot of our coins, so we're not going to have as high a fire rate as we would have if we kept all the coins. But honestly, I think that's fine. This guy shouldn't be too bad. Right, we're not actually dealing that much damage, to be honest. He's still tanking through us quite a bit. All right, good, good, good. We're getting the movements down right now. We're looking at his tells. We're able to move out the way pretty rapidly. Absolutely no worry at all. Honestly, shot speed up is quite nice. Um, two hearts doesn't really help us. Horror Babylon. I think Horror Babylon is just auto-activated all the time. It is. Awesome. That's that's a nice speed boost, but it's also a very, very nice damage boost as well. So, now we've really got something going on with this run. This run really has some legs to it. Um, I'm very happy about that. So, that's actually pretty decent, having glitter bombs. Um, obviously, we're going to be bombing a lot of things, so it, just, it could just be more consumables for us, which is always very nice. More random shits for us to have. Right, let's actually do this in this room. Gonna get rid of these. The, the, the poison ticks for 80. That's actually pretty nutty. It's pretty nutty. We're gonna get an item here. Metronome, two room charge, gives a random item effect. No, thank you. A luck coin there's very nice. Having the ability to reroll items like with a D6 would be very, very nice right about now. We're getting so many active items we don't want. Or just having the trinket no would be really good. How does one room roll four tinted rocks and this room rolls none? It's bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. We need to get a key there. Again, we'll use this because it's just ridiculously powerful. I'm loving it. And we did get a battery charge over there. And blow this up. Left hand. Hmm. I think I want the left hand. Turning all chests into red chests is going to mean that we have a much, much higher chance of getting Guppy. And Guppy, while not an instant win, it very, very much aids the uh, ability to get a win. So, definitely, definitely wanting that. I can't remember. What have we done with the loss? We've done Mum's Heart, Boss Rush, and The Hush. Okay. So, we basically just want to go for a blue baby this time, then. Blue Baby would be a fine one to just beeline it to. Let's use this again. Take care of the annoyances. No thank you, face man. Haven't really been finding secret rooms, but I think our bombs are better spent elsewhere. I know we just got rid of the thing that's going to give us a bunch of tinted rocks. But the main reason I got rid of that is because now we have, we have small rock. We have the one thing the Lost wants from tinted rocks for the most part. 
so we don't need to be fishing for tinted rocks constantly. We would get some extra consumables every now and again, but we'd also have a like 50% chance of just getting soul hearts and basically getting nothing out of it. Um, yeah, we've done everything we want to do on this floor. Oh no, we haven't been to our shop yet. We should probably try and go to our shop. We have the requisite keys and we have a good amount of money, so definitely be a good idea. Now, let's actually do a little bit, missing poster, of bombing on these here, just to see if we can get ourselves. Damn it. See if, see if we can get ourselves something nice there, but obviously it didn't, didn't quite pan out. So I have an extra bomb there. And here is our shop. Do you have for us? The glowing hourglass is pretty fucking good. I will take the glowing hourglass. I'm sorry, Snake Eyes. You have been uh, a very upstanding soldier in this war. But I don't know about you guys. But glowing hourglass is very, very, very good for the lost. Now, it does have limited uses. It didn't before, but it does now. It does have limited uses. But even with limited uses, having the ability to lose Holy Mansell and then decide, nope, I'm not going to play the rest of this room is very important. I did lose Holy Mantle on this room, but I knew that I could finish it without getting hurt. Whipped cream. Oh my god. Oh my god. If we manage to get... If we manage to... I really should have picked up that book for Bookworm Transformation. Darn. Um, if we manage to get... Like, rubber cement or something like that, we have won. Effectively, we've just won. Because... I don't know if you guys saw last episode, but whipped cream right now in its current state is broken to all high hell. If you have anything that has like extended range or very bouncy shots or anything like that, it it kind of it kind of goes a bit crazy. And yeah, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be what we call very very good. Excuse me, hands. Excuse me, hands. No, thank you. No, thank you, hands. Okay, we don't have a key yet for that. It's in here. Single red chest. We still want to open these, even if it is boss or whatever rush. Because it could be guppy items, and we need them. We need them real bad. I'm super used to fighting these now because they basically added very, very similar enemies to um, to Undermine recently. And I have got so into the habit of dodging them. Hey, and we got a key for that as well. So it was worth it even without the red chest. Um, telepathy, we would have Bookworm right now. It's very annoying that I didn't take the uh, Necronomicon there. Very annoying indeed. Bookworm is actually a pretty significant damage up. So I'm a bit sad about that. Death's List I took just because if we manage to get it to work, that's nice. But most of the time, I'm not going to shoot for Death's List unless it's, like, super easy to do and it's not going out of our way at all. But otherwise, it's just going to be there. Oh, God. Don't worry about it, though. Not a hard room, even if we lost Holy Mantle. Like, that room, I really should have gone for Death's List today. It was, it was an easy get, but I'm stupid as all. Same with this room too, actually. There's some rooms that are really easy to go for it with. And I should be going for it more often. Okay, this is going to be a very annoying room to fight this little dude in. Nice. And we got ourselves a speed up. Lovely. This room's going to be a little bit annoying. Don't know what the yellow enemies are for. Oh, it's the, uh, the buff buffed ones, isn't it, by the king dude. This is a very, very annoying room. Of course. Why wouldn't you spawn one of those? But don't worry, though. We got through it. We got through it. But yeah, basically, anytime I'm on, I'm on like a boss room or like a really difficult room and I really think I'm going to get hit twice, it's going to be super easy for us to just go, nope, let's use our, um, use our glowing hourglass to get out of here. Um, hive mind, I'm gonna take in preparation, even though it lowers our fire rate, just in case we do get guppy. I would very much like to have 
uh, the ability to quite easily deal double damage. That's always good. Okay, so Sister Viz, already very, very difficult bosses. So, could be problematic. Um, we don't exactly have the damage we just had a moment ago either. Luckily, we do have the safety of the rocks that are in the corner. Depending on what they do, they can be pretty good safety. Sometimes, though, they'll do that. They'll do that, and it'll heck you up. Okay, we should be fine here, though. There you go, we got him. We got ourselves a luck upgrade there, and we got ourselves chocolate, which is going to be damage and speed, which is always nice. Um, and we'll just head to the next floor, keep going on. I was very tempted to press our space bar there, but I want to really limit the uses, because I think, I don't know how many uses it has, I don't know if it's, it might even be random. It's it's something that we really, really should be um, being careful about. Good, good. Got ourselves lots of bombs and a key. Lovely. I very much do wish I did have my um my snake eyes again because they were just so good for clearing out really hectic rooms. But at the same time, the safety that we have right now is too too important. Okay, let's uh Oh god, I was just like let's let's do this. This is a bad idea. This is actually a terrible, terrible room for us right now. We need to get rid of that portal real fast. Take care of all the enemies that, that jump around on us, like this guy. And the rest can be taken care of actually pretty easily. They look a lot harder than they are. Yeah, there you go. And we get ourselves a troll bomb. Yay, you gotta remember that's there. Got ourselves a nickel. Cool. Luckily it didn't spawn next to us. If we get enough money, we'll go back to that shop there. Okay, so this is the exact same room as last time. Because, because of that room being non-essential, I'm just going to dip out, considering I lost my um, ability so early on there. It's just not worth it. It's just not worth it at all. I don't even want to get involved with that. Witch's hat is very nice. The witching tears can be very, very good. Especially with our um, little tentacles that spawn every now and again. Ooh, although... That enemy went very, very dodgy there. I really hope that's not going to be a problem for us. If I die to Bewitching Tears, I will be sad. What you got for us? <gasps> Has to be done. Sadly, it was not It was not worth it in the slightest. But it had to be tried. It had to be attempted. Right, this guy's a real pain in the ass, Or can be. Ooh, thank you, Spider Mod. Thank you indeed. Okay, he's he, he he could be a pain in the ass, but he just didn't want to be, which is very nice of him, actually. Very kind of him. Don't know why that immediately um, turned him around for us there. I, I really don't know what happened there. I bewitched him and, like, insta-killed him. I don't really know what went on there, but whatever. We got ourselves a chest, which is a red chest, of course. Damn it. Let's hop in here. Hop straight out of here. Definitely get rid of those. Red chest. Really not getting lucky with the red chest so far. Really not getting lucky with them at all. Which is a shame. Now we do have tarot cloth, so we are going to be dealing like double cards whenever we use them. But sadly, um, we do only have the world and that can't be doubled. So, But once we get like a damaging card or things like that, there's going to be some good ones. Especially if we get um, uh, the protect one. I can't remember what the protect rune is called. The hell is that called? Algis? I think it's Algis, isn't it? Okay. The the one problem that I'm having right now is the tentacles having health bars can be very, very confusing. No thank. No thank. Yeah, sometimes when the tentacles spawn and they have health bars too, it's really hard to keep a track of what's actually going on. Okay, let's head into here. Mum's Perfume is a tears upgrade, so I'm pretty happy for it. Fear Shot can be pretty useful for us, although it's not going to be. I regret coming into this room a lot. Actually, no. Now I don't. We got... Causes angel bosses to drop normal items instead of key pieces. 
Mm, that would be useful if we had Angel Deals active, but we do not. Let's go into our shop and see what's cracker lacking up in there. Um, Jar of Flies is so good. It's so good. If we, if only, wait a minute. Hmm. I'm going to try something that's a little, a little stupid, but I think it has to be done. Sorry, donation machine. Right. Okay, now, buy the school backpack, buy the jar of flies, now we can have both. Just because jar of flies is so good with us with hive mind, we're gonna be dealing so much extra damage. And then whenever we need to, we just swap to that. We just press control, swap to that, and use it. It's, it's obviously a little extra step of thought process for us, which is not great. In fact, I'll just have it ready now for this fight. In fact, do, does it does it store flies even when I'm not, um... It does. Okay, since it stores flies while I've not got it active, just keep this other one active all the time and use this between rooms. That's the way to do this. Because then I've just got this ready at a moment's notice, and I can just do that. And hop back to it. I'll probably end up accidentally using the wrong thing at some point, but... Whatever. Right, okay. We want to take the Polaroid here. We're just going to go for a blue baby. Do the simple. I'll use my uh, world card here as well to get through this a little quicker. Um, yeah, okay. So, yeah. So, we'll just kill enemies as normal. Excuse me, guys. But Witching Tears is really nice for just getting the enemies to go the hell away. Um, uh, yeah, and then whenever we kill a certain amount of enemies, uh, these guys are really, really, really annoying. Go away. Also, you're really annoying too. And now we've got 12 flies. We use that. Come over here. Of course, that's going to mean we don't get to use the tentacles in, in normal rooms, but I think that's fine. Hmm. He seems to be a little fucked down there. Bomb my way out of the room, just in case. Bomb my way through the shortcut here. Compost. Oh. Doesn't this also double your flies, compost? I thought it did. Wait a minute, let's try that. It does. It's such a good combo. Oh, shall I leave it? Shall I leave it? I, I'll leave it. I, I'll, I'll leave the safety in in order to just get a ridiculous amount of flies. Petrified poop. Oh my god. What the hell are these things? I've not even seen these enemies before. What the heck? I got a damage up there. That's nice. <laughs> Ow, I did get hit there, apparently. Oh, let's compost again, shall we? Oh, yeah, this is definitely worth it. This is definitely worth it. Compost with a one-room charge is, um... Is... Let, let, let me say... Ridiculous. Uh, Sack Dagger or Devil and Angel deals. Let's just go with Sack Dagger for protection. Oh, we get both. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, Faith is going to screw us here, which is sad. Because I guarantee Faith is going to fly one of those little locusts that explode into something and hurt us. Which is going to be super upsetting. But at the same time, oh no. This is, this is your flies are gone sort of enemy. Just, just die. I hate these enemies so much. I really don't get them at all. I think they make absolutely no sense as enemies, in my opinion. Give me all those flies back. Yep, there's an explosive locust. That's going to be really problematic, and that's probably going to get us killed. If that gets me killed, I'm going to be super upset. <laughs> but it's going to happen. 
Yeah, in my opinion, the faith stuff should not spawn the explosive locusts at all. The explosive locusts will just get, get people hurt. It's just a minor change. But I I completely forgot how absolutely broken um, compost is with a one-room charge. It's, um, it's, as they call, pretty fucking good. It's pretty gnarly, bro. Pretty gnarly. No, thank you. I don't want to do bosses for that. We can also spawn a few extra flies there and double them again. Oh, and we'll just double them again. And we'll just double those again. <laughs> oh my god, it's just so powerful. See, now looking at it, I really should have kept my, um, kept my ability to use the, uh, the reverse time thing. But you've got to think, if I've run out of flies, like in one room, there's, I've got no way of getting them back. So I've got to have the jar of flies as a way of rebuilding this if I lose them all. If you know what I mean. It's unlikely I'll lose them all. There's only a certain few enemies, like that guy right there, that can cause me to lose them all. Lost a lot there, but don't worry about it. They're back. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. The only thing is, I can't really see what's happening, ever. Wait, oh, you need to die. Okay, I see. And there's more of these guys. I, I, I can't tell when these are friendly or enemy. I have no idea. Do you think I have that power? I heard a chest drop. But I don't see one. Okay. These guys need to die naturally. Open your face, fool. Open your face. Oh, my God. Just bomb out. Them, they're just so bullshit. Them enemies are just dumb. I don't get them. They don't make any sense. I think they're from Deliverance. I'm not. I'm not 100 sure actually. But they're a bit dumb in my opinion. Oh yeah, sorry, mum. Sorry about that. Oh, it's a, it's a shame we didn't get this last floor because then we could have actually done Mega Satan. Um. Hmm. Do I go Angel Deal? Yeah, I'll go Angel Deal. Holy Grail. I'll take the key piece anyways. Sorry. Just in case. I don't think it's plausible that we're going to get the other key piece here. But just in case. Now, we have already done Hush, right? That one at the bottom right is Hush. I'm pretty sure that's Hush. I can never remember. Let's just head up. If by some miracle, we can teleport to an angel deal and get another key, key piece. It's good to have it ready. Good to have it ready. Compost is broken. It's so holy, my god, it's broken. I don't even have guppy. And it's already heckin' broken. Oh my god. There's nothing you can do to stop me now. I am an unkillable machine. Heck away from me, dudes. Yo, yo, yo. Flies coming at ya. Do you wanna fly? Have a fly. Just one. And some for you as well, Ager, buddy. There's enough for everybody. Here at the Fly MC here. Do 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 do. Fly MC A. Do 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 do. Okay, this is gonna be a room where I genuinely could get hurt quite a bit, or not. Okay, these guys can telefrag, so thank you for dying politely. 
Drops two soul hearts. If only. If only that was useful to us. Thank you, dude. Hey, little Isaac. How you doing? Oh, You gonna die? You gonna die, Isaac? Oh, little bitch gonna die? Oh. Sorry, Isaac. You have been, what they call in the business, murdered. Oh, Isaac's heart's been unlocked. Thank God. Oh, balls. To be fair, though, I will take this to double our damage. Because that means our flies do more. And if our flies do more, then, I don't know, just, it just, it means, it means that the game is an instant win, pretty much. How much do we do per fly? I've not even checked. Like, 781 per fly. What the hell? How? How? How does this happen? Let's drop left hand now. Oh god, I'm thank thankful we have the flies to this room. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh my god, I'm coming across so many dead ends. This curse. Not good for me. Not good for me at all. Same room again? We just had this room. Okay, this room could use up a lot of flies, so I'm going to just try and kill them normally. It'll also get some jar of flies ready for us if we somehow lose all of them, which is definitely plausible to some bosses. You think you can attack me? Pathetic. Sorry, dude. Didn't mean to ruin your day. Thanks for the virus. Thanks for the virus. Hey, bros. Okay, thank the Lord we have this for this room. This room would end me normally. End me. And here's our boss. Make sure we got enough flies going. Oh yes, we have enough. Blue baby's done. Sadly, it didn't give us the opportunity to go to the void or Mega Satan. But that's what you call a loss run, boyos. 37 minutes. The lost blue baby, Isaac, done. Easy. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that run. That was an absolutely delicious run. And I will see you guys in the next one.